In this video, Alex from Golf Swing Systems walks us through the incredible Foresight GC3 launch monitor. Stick around to find out absolutely everything that you're gonna to need to know about the GC3. And there's also an amazing giveaway prize just for you guys right at the end of the video. Trust me, it's pretty good. You don't wanna miss this. It's free money. I am super excited about this. So the GC3 is brand new for 2022. Uh, it sits in that sort of bracket between Skytrack and Trackman. It's around about 8,400, including your software. So we're gonna take you through FSX 2020, FSX Play, and a bunch of the features and showing you sort of the strengths and the weaknesses of GC3. Can't wait to get started, let's crack on. Let's go. <clears throat> so this is a GC3. It's nice. a I mean, it's a stunning unit. It looks fantastic. It's got a screen on top, so you can get all your data if you want to just take it out to the course. Um, but the main thing to look at is you've got three cameras here. GC3, makes sense. And uh, it works very similar to your Skytrack at home, where it starts taking photos when it detects a golf shot being hit. The only difference is these cameras are bigger and better. So you get a bit more data, it's a bit more accurate, and you also unlock a little bit of club head data when you're using a club with a dot on, which you've got in your hand there. So they get, they call it one dot data. So it's a little, little reflective dot you put on top of your golf club. And that then gives you things like club path, angle of attack, and club speed. So you can get a really in-depth look into what you're doing to make the golf shot happen. And the other thing to note is how much bigger it is than Skytrack. Yeah, it's tall. Yeah, it's tall and it's thick too. So uh, what that means is there's actually a lot more tech in here than in a Skytrack, and that means the processing power is quicker. Mm. So one of the one of the complaints sometimes uh, people give about Skytrack is that little delay from when you hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you hit your shot, you can, you can probably count a second or even a two seconds to see the shot actually happen. With GC3, because it's got that extra processing power, you're gonna hit that shot and it's actually gonna, it's almost, almost real time. Brilliant. Can I have a feel of that? Absolutely, yeah. It's quite heavy. It is quite heavy, yeah. yeah it's much heavier so than what It's I about two and a half kilos. So there's quite wow. a lot of tech in there. Um, the only difference to, between that and quad is the quad has an aluminium body. So that's even right, a little okay, bit more heavy. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but you can feel like the, the build quality is fantastic. I must admit when, uh, when Alex was showing it then, um, it looked a bit plasticky. It looked very light and flimsy. And then you pick it up and it's a beast. It's, no, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's, it'll, take a, it'll take a bit of punishment as well because it's designed so that you can take it out onto the course with you. Yeah. So you'll see a lot on YouTube videos um, folks just, you know, they'll be on the course and to get their data, they'll just, you know, they'll plonk a, yeah. GC, a GC unit down. Yeah. For a, a very, very avid golfer or an elite player, the GC3 is going to give way more data than you even need to, to get a real idea of what you're doing to create the golf shot. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah just with, like, with, with, with the screen on top there, um, like Alex said, you don't necessarily have to have it connected to your phone, I don't think, no, do you? No, you, you can run it completely offline. Yeah, um, so you can just see your data straight away, numbers flash up on the screen, um, but obviously we're gonna connect it to the sim today uh, and get that full simulator experience. Let's get going. So what you can see behind us is FSX 2020. So that's kind of the original Foresight software. Um, it is in the process of actually being updated to a second software called FSX Play, okay. which we'll show you in a second. Um, but FSX 2020 is a really good place to start because it shows you all the data you're gonna get. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see all the ball data. And then next to it, you can see the club head data you get. Now you'll notice there are some blank spaces, but what that re the reason for that is, this uh, software is exactly the same software that runs GC Quad. So you're actually, you're getting the same stuff that you get with GC Quad, you're right. just not accessing all of the parameters. So them ones that are blank are the stuff that you would get with yeah. the GC Quad. Yeah, so things like face to target and like dynamic loft and lies, those are those are created by having four dots on the face because you can see the golf the golf right, club okay. in a plane. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with one dot, you still get your club path, your angle of attack and your club head speed, which are actually the ones that are gonna make the biggest difference to your golf shot. Nice golf shot. Oh, good. Can we have a hole in one on camera? Get in! Get in! <laughs> Does it actually go in the hole? Yeah, we're in. <laughs> what, what a shot, shot. that is! <laughs> nice golf shot. Yeah, that so was you can a see nice as, one. As soon as you see it up on the screen, you're actually also getting your data on the screen. Yeah. So you can flick between, this is your club data. Oh right, it's so a touch screen as well. Yeah, it's touch screen. That's awesome. And you can actually, you can sort of jig around with that a little bit. Yeah. It's also got an on, onboard barometer. So if you're playing out in the course, it'll detect what the conditions are. Wow. And then it's <laughs> going to be real life. So you've got, say it's a bit humid and the ball's going to travel a little bit, a little bit yeah, less distance. Yeah. It'll work that out. Wow. So Trackman, you have to do that. 
obviously it's connected to satellite images and things like that, so it's using actual weather apps. Yeah. This is using an onboard barometer. So that is awesome. it's, a little, it's, it's just a little bit more optimized for being offline. I, I love the, um, <clears throat> I'll put some B-roll shots of, of the screen on here, but um, you plonk the GC3 down, and then wherever you put the ball, the GC3 registers it on the screen, and it's got its hitting area, which I'm assuming is quite a large hitting area. It's pretty big, yeah. You can sort of test it out. You can sort of bring that ball all the way out towards you, and it'll, it'll keep detecting the ball. And if you go out of it, it'll start to tell you on the screen to move the ball into the hitting zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the screen and the hitting area, it's so obvious. Yeah, like right. it's, it's You can't really mess it's it up. It's great, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Nice golf shot. Little low stingy one. With the sky track, I have to put the sky track down, align it, get it like level with the screen. Mm -hmm. um, does that work the same with the GC quad? Does it have to be at a certain angle? So as standard, it uses the sort of the line of its of its field of view as straight. Okay. But what you can actually do, you can get a reflective aim stick that they give that they it comes with the GC three. It's like a any it's like any alignment stick. It's just reflective. Okay. You pop that down, and it actually detects that alignment stick because it's reflective. Ah, and right, okay. so say you wanted to hit the left hand corner of your screen for some strange yeah, reason. Yeah. Um, you could actually line it up. You don't have to adjust the GC3 and it'll then register that as the straight line. Ah, uh, right, okay. So say, say we were on the simulator and you sort of aimed it off left with the reflective stick. Yeah. It's then gonna, everything's gonna go straight even if you hit it left. Cool. So it's, it's, it's really good for if you're off, you know, off on a golf course, you pop it down. That's good, yeah. Point the aim stick at the hole you're hitting at. Yeah. You're then gonna get all your data and you're gonna see it, you know, in, cool. in relation to real life. So I'm aiming for that center line? Uh, no, no, you're just hitting straight down the line that you're on. That I'm on, right, yeah. okay. Oh, that was oh. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's a proper golfer. <laughs> Amazing. So they do sell a protective case for the GC3. Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. Do, do they actually? Yeah, they do. <laughs> so we're on the range now, Alex. Um, does FSX 2020 come with any sort of like game improvement stuff or is this literally just a driving range? Yeah, so you, FSX 2020 comes with things like the FSX Skills Challenge and things okay. like that. You might have seen Peter Finch doing that quite a lot. I believe at one point he held the world record for the, yeah. the FSX Skills I've Challenge. Seen those vids, yeah. um, so you can you can actually load up things like games and you also get game improvement sections, so things like sort of bag mapping and target practice, things like that where you can get a bit more of a guided practice session. Um, the FSX Skills Challenge, all you need is to start an FSX Live account which you actually get set up when you get your software set, um, installed. Uh, so you'd have, you know, you'd have a login that then also acts as your um, data storage device. So it uploads that to your FSX Live account, which means if you've got a coach who's got a you know, GC quad, you can share that data with him through that. That's and he'll be able cool, to see yeah. all your practice sessions. So we've got the main screen up here for the Foresight 2020 software. Um, I'm assuming the play button is just the driving range. Is that uh, right? No, so play. <laughs> You go in here. You can do um, you can do stroke play matches. You can do yeah. You, know, you can play to, uh, play golf courses. All right. Um, okay. You can also obviously do foot uh, foot golf if you've got the license for foot golf. That is an extra additional cost. Um, you can then also do random play. So you'll get a random course and random random play settings. So oh, say you've got cool. a mate, you could you can end up playing like match play where he gets a shot hole or something. Oh, you I can love really, that. That's good. Yeah. You know, I think they say if you fancy getting spicy, which is uh, <laughs> an interesting term. Can you, yeah, you, can, sorry, to, can you do foot golf with the GC3? Yeah, you can do can it. Yeah. You? yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. I'll show you. So you've got you've got your foot golf options here. I don't believe we've got a football here. No. But, uh, <laughs> but you can play. You know, there are sort of foot golf um, aspects to the Foresight range, so you can get like an extra license with any of their units. So GC3, GC Quad, or Hawk. Right. Um, and you can do like penalty shootouts Seriously? and things like that. And yeah, there's all sorts of games. Yeah. That's mint. So I love football. Yeah, I don't know if you know that already. If you watch my channel for a while, you might do. Um, but yeah. That's awesome. I'd love to play yeah. foot golf on the simulator. <laughs> yeah. One thing to note is you have to get a properly built simulator. If you have a bit of a dodgy simulator and you smack a football into it, it might tear the whole thing down. Yeah, so yeah. That's make sure point, you yeah. come to Golf Swing Systems. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Brilliant. And then you've also got your compete sections as well. So you can play competitions. That FSX Skills Challenge is actually technically a competition because you're scored against people around the world. Right, okay. Um, you can also then play games like um, you've got things like within six feet and glass break. So inside six feet is basically a... Um, a closest the pin challenge to multiple different pins. Yeah. Um, glass break is exactly as it sounds. You yeah, break yeah. glass. Um, and then you can also play um, tournament type things. So you can compete in leagues. You have to obviously log into your FSX Live account. But you can compete in leagues against other people with Foresight units. You can play to, you know, golf courses and tournaments yeah, and yeah. things like that. So what's the improve tab? So improve is very similar to the game improvement software on Skytrack. Um, you've, got your, you've got your range, because obviously that's where you're going to do the majority of your yeah. improvement. 
But you've got things like know your numbers, so that's where it will give you yardages to hit to, and you've got to then, it's like a bit like a guided practice yeah, session. Yeah. Um, and then you've also got on course practice. So say you had a favorite course on one of these, so Beaver Hills, for instance, I really like the, the fifth. <clears throat> you could press this and it would load you into the fifth hole and you can start practicing shots in the fifth hole like the tee shot or the approach That's to the awesome, green. yeah. So how many courses does it come with? So you do get some courses included with your, your FSX bundle. When you purchase must you get 2020 and play included. You get five included with FSX with 2020, one, yeah. but you get 10 included with FSX play as well. Yeah. And the ones that are cross compatible, they work on both software. All right, well. that's good. So, um, and you can buy extra courses, can you? You can, yeah. So there's a lot of courses available. They're quite pricey by the sounds of it. You, yeah, they're about 150 quid per a pop. Okay. Um, unless you're going for a premium course, something like St. Andrews, the, new, the old course, like almost $500 really? there. Really? Wow. But, when they're on FSX Play, we'll see in a second, the quality is very, very good. Yeah, cool. And the reason they're so expensive is the amount of development that goes into them. You're actually looking at a very similar purchase cost if you want extra courses on Trackman as well. Right, okay, yeah. nice, yeah. Oh, that is such a good golf shot. Go! Go! Go. Yeah, that I is such bad. a good golf shot like to get that, there with like two that. on it with a seven iron. Just a little chip and run. Yeah. Pretty good. Go. Settle. Oh, not bad. Has he got not gimme? All oh, right, yeah, so we've got gimme Gimme set. within six feet to start uh, as standard. You can change that if you want. Cool. And also, if you are a little bit further away, you can putt on this as well. Um, but yeah, so we'll show you FSX uh, Play now, which is their updated software. It is still getting developed, but the full launch is coming very, very soon where everything will have been polished up. Yeah. But you'll see the graphics are a big jump up. That's cool. cool. So with, it, it, if, Somebody bought the GC3 from you guys. You said you do the package where you get 2020 and play. So you'd yeah. get like 15 courses included between yeah. the two software. Yeah, so we do, we do a package which includes the two. It's 8,400 pounds, including VAT. Um, so you've got effectively a player's bundle. That's what cool. they like to call it. So you've got the, you've got the GC3, you've got FSX 2020, which is their sort of really polished and well sort of uh, bedded in software. And then you've got FSX Play, which is coming. It's, yeah, it's been and good. I'm assuming you'd get all like any updates from uh, FSX Play, any, yeah. that they'd all be free and included within the package. Yes, yeah, so if you, were to, if you were to have just, for instance, FSX 2020, if you'd only purchase that, when Play comes out, you'd have to purchase that separately. Okay. Um, if you've got the bundle, then you've got FSX 2020 and FSX Play included with the bundle, including any updates that come up. Awesome, right, yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, so can we have a look at FSX Play, please, mm -hmm. Al? So one of the cool things that FSX Play has brought into the game is an adjustable viewpoint. Now, what that does is you're not gonna be able to put the ball down in the same position on the hitting mat every single time, but in FSX Play, say I slightly change where the ball is, you can see the viewpoint slightly just shifts and what that means is you're going to get a consistent game experience. So you know where you're hitting the ball is always going to be to a straight line. That, that is awesome. Um, I mean, because in the software and the launch monitors that I use, like Skytrack, GS Pro, TGC, you kind of got to adjust the center line manually. Um, but just the fact that if I jump in here, I'll... so obviously I can see on the screen where my hitting zone is, but if I just adjust it, to wherever I'm comfortable, it automatically adjusts that center line so I know exactly where I'm gonna hit it or I need to hit it. Nice golf shot. Now what you can see with FSX Play, you can see the jumping graphics. It, it just looks a lot better. There's a lot more detail to it. The graphics are smoother. The, the sort of user interface is much nicer to look at as well. You get your data in the bottom, uh, bottom of the screen there. And also the, the courses, they just, they feel more real. That's yeah. where the improvement's been made. So like I use GS Pro at the moment and I've used the Golf Club 2019 previously and comparing Forza FSX 2020 to GS Pro, for example, it just it didn't feel realistic at yeah. all, I'd say. It's still very good, but it just didn't feel very realistic. Yeah. This just seems a little bit more on, the, on par with TGC and especially GS Pro, just yeah. in terms of the realism of the graphics and even by the looks of the gameplay as well. So Mitch is here on a par four. He has only hit a seven iron off the tee, so bear that in mind. So what you can do on the touch screens is you can click and hold to see where you're aiming and you can see sort of how far different things are away. So say you had a hazard in front of you, you could click and hold and see you had maybe 160 yard carry. But if you click and touch, Mitch can just adjust his aim point. So he's aiming now at oh, 160 yeah. yards. He's gonna have 103 yards in. So go ahead, Mitch, hit your shot. Okay, so just make sure I'm in the hitting zone, adjust my center line accordingly. That's pushed. 
Oh, no, it's drawn in. That's a lovely golf shot. Mitch evidently is, is, is you know, he's pretty new to the uh, on-camera video game because uh, all you've got to do is hold the finish <laughs> and no one will ever know what happened. <laughs> what I usually do, mate, after every shot, I turn around and tell the camera how bad the shot is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, what have I got so in you got here? 91 yards. Let's see if you can do it all with a 7-iron. No chance. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, 91 yards for me is, let's say, a three-quarter pitching wedge. Nice shot, slightly pushed. That's quite common when you hit a three quarter though, because your hands get a little bit slow. Yeah, not bad. I'll take that. Nope. So can, and can now you, you put? Can putt. Yep. So you're going to have a putt in. What you can see is FSX players introduced what they call the gimme zone. It's just a bit of a clearer way of seeing where you need to putt to to get a gimme. Now, if Mitch gets his putter, he's got 30 feet going downhill, 10 inches. So it's quite a downhill putt. Oh, wow. So you're probably going to want to play this about. 20 feet maximum. So do I line it up on the screen or do I just hit? You can line this up, you can do, so you're hitting to a straight line, there's always still a straight line, but if okay. there's breaks on the screen, if you aim slightly left or right, it's gonna happen on the, on the game. Right, okay, so, yeah, so on like TGC, I can use the keyboard or the touch screen to aim my putt, can I do yep. that on here? you can do exactly the same thing, so if we go ahead and just hit on the map, say he wants to aim a few feet outside left, okay, right, that's yeah, the right, yeah. point. So I'm just aiming to that. Yeah, you uh, just aim straight. Okay, so, so what? Let's say, so it's 30 feet, 10 inch downhill, 20 feet put. <laughs> nice pat! <laughs> <laughs> I'd take that, bogey. So yeah, this is cool. Um, FSX play, brand new, updates coming quite regularly, I believe. Uh, the graphics are just decent, uh, a lot better than FSX 2020, in my opinion, anyway. So as you That's can see, cool. the practice range has taken a bit of an upgrade as well. You've got these updated graphics, but also you've got different locations. You can, on the uh, FSX 2020, you can use different locations to hit your practice shots. But this one is one we like to show. This is just hitting at the Eiffel Tower with the little, uh, the little pond that's in the middle there, so you've got something to aim at. So the, I've got, the sorry. Pond, the, the tee box in the middle of the pond is actually about 155 yards away. All right, so the, t right, so the tee box in the pond, did you say? Yeah, so we can show you that. We can aim at, the same way with the, uh, with the course that you want to change your aim points. So if you can get the back edge of that is 170 away. All right, so. So, so you can whack a seven iron at that. So, so that's a green, not a tee box? Uh, kind of, it's, right. it's not, it, the, this is actually where you would be looking, if you were sat in Paris looking at the Apple Tower from yeah, here, yeah, yeah. it's exactly the same. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's just a little bit of a funky little driving range, a little bit of a different thing to look at when you're practicing. That's a nice golf shot. Bit However, lucky. I think that might be getting wet. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a nice shot. <laughs> I love that, that's cool. But yeah, it's just a bit of a nicer thing to look at when you're hitting your golf shots. You still get all your data as well. So you get a little bit of data shown at the bottom. But then what we can do is just go into your analysis. You've got all your ball data and you've got your club data as well. Awesome. Same way as in FSX 2020. Let's have another shot of that. Yeah, go ahead. That. That's cool. I like the tiles on the bottom. Nice mm -hmm. and clear. Nice interface. Draw back in then. Oh no. <laughs> Cut path. <laughs> 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 I love that. Oh, both paths. Oh my gosh, look how long that is. <laughs> wow. Right, Alex, so you've got me set up here on the um, FSX Play Long Drive Challenge. Yep. And uh, you've got a nice little gift for all you guys that are watching the video, have you? Yeah, so we've been working together for a few months now. So uh, we thought it only right to do a little bit of a giveaway to thank your followers for all, the, uh, all of the work and all of the, uh, all of the support they've given your channel. Obviously, you've passed 5,000 subscribers pretty recently. That's so this it. is another little bit of a celebration there. Cheers, so man. we're on an online competition here. Uh, the Long Drive is basically it's run globally. So anybody can enter this. You can see the, the winner of the competition so far, the leader is at 388.8 yards. Is that a carry? So good luck that catching that. No, that uh, that's total. That's total. Um, right. But what we're gonna do, for every yard over 200 yards that Mitch is able to hit, we're gonna give a pound away on a coupon to one of your subscribers. So no pressure <laughs> on me, but... Uh, we'll yeah. give you a few guys as well. Best of, best of five, we'll say. To enter this amazing competition, you need to comment on this video quoting the word voucher, as well as subscribe to the Handicap Golf YouTube channel and follow Golf Swing Systems and Handicap Golf on Instagram. All the links that you need are in the description underneath this video. Does it have to be on the fairway? No, fairways are for losers. <laughs> good, because I'm not very good at finding <laughs> fairways. Shot one. Oh, I felt like that was <laughs> That Look was Millard. <laughs> Go 
go, ball. Love it. So it's a total. Oh, way over 200. Total distance. <laughs> That's massive. <laughs> There you go, guys. That's how much I like you for watching my channel. This guy's, this guy's <laughs> swindled me. He said he drives at 260. <laughs> Fantastic. That's what a great drive. So it's total, uh, total distance, not total carry. Yeah, yeah, total distance, yeah, 294. So yeah. that's 294.8. We'll round it up to 95. We, mu we must be downhill, downwind. <laughs> <laughs> I might get on the leaderboard here. <laughs> Are we allowed to give away that much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, oh, that's another one. <laughs> He's come to play for you guys. <laughs> that's even bigger. Is it? <laughs> Go! Mate, I've never drove it this far in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do best one of... Oh, oh, wait, it's doing best one of three. So we'll do yeah, best one of three. Three is absolutely fine. Because I ain't going to drive it further than that first one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nonsense. He swindled us good and proper. <laughs> Oh, I tried to absolutely smash that one. To be honest, I think you did. Go! I think you did. Go! <laughs> I've got 300 yards. This is a joke. I can't believe it. I, can't... <laughs> I told him that I'd drive at about 240, 260 at max. <laughs> <sighs> there you go, guys. So what's the total there, Al? Yeah, I mean, you're getting £106 to give away. A 306-yard drive. That's massive. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah, congratulations. And, yeah, good luck to you, all you guys entering. One lucky one went on January 31st. We'll contact them, and you'll get a £106 voucher to, uh, to spend at Golf Swing Systems. Amazing. There we go, guys. I thought I'd get you about 50 quid, but obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, right, yeah, so, like I said, um, to enter this competition, all you've got to do is follow... Uh, golf Swing Systems on Instagram, follow Handicap Golf on Instagram and subscribe to the Handicap Golf YouTube channel and you'll get £106 off anything you want at Golf Swing Systems. The big boss has come up behind the camera because I said it was going to be about 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Steve, I apologise. <laughs> if you've got value from this video, then please support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to Handicap Golf. And for more invaluable home golf simulator content, click on the video that's on the screen right now.